I think it's pretty safe to say that one of the more mysterious aspects about the sequel trilogy has all to do with Rey, her lineage, and her parents, specifically her father. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, ever since The Force Awakens, this is a part of Rey that a lot of us fans have been trying to figure out for the longest time, and it seems as so that it was answered by writer and director Ryan Johnson by use of the character of Kylo Ren, telling us, the audience, that Rey's parents are nobody and that she is a nobody and has no place really in this world. Now, what's really interesting to me, though, is that John Williams, I know I've talked about this many times, is that he actually expressed in one of his podcasts that he doesn't buy that Rey's lineage is, you know, of insignificance, of essentially her being a nobody and her parents being a nobody. He doesn't buy any of that. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc., one of which has all to do with Rey, a desert world, and quite possibly even Rey's father. A description of Rey on a desert world at night that may or may not be Jakku. In the background are some campsites and likely where Finn, Poe, and crew are located. Rey is walking on her own away from the site and begins to see a figure in a cloak that at first is transparent and eventually becomes solid. Rey is following the figure who also has a staff that is very similar to Rey's. The figure stops as does Rey, and the figure turns around and pulls his hood off, revealed to be an older man, deeply resembling Rey, and begins to run away into a cave and vanishes, leaving Rey to a spot on the planet full of Jedi and Sith relics. The figure appeared to have a beard with long hair and a one-length style. So, I really want to go over some of these pointers here. Now, there are a couple of points that line directly up with some of the leaked images that we actually went over a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if you guys remember. It was a very interesting piece for sure. Um, it was over in Wadi Rum, and there was a whole lot of leaked photographs showing us a campsite. A major campsite that will be used in the movie for our characters. I believe that that lines directly up with this. And with all the rumors saying that they were shooting night scenes over there in Wadi Rum, we never got actual uh, leaked photographs. But what's really interesting to me is that this seems like the planet Jakku. I mean, if it really is going to be Rey's father, the fact that this figure resembles her greatly. Uh, he has a beard, long hair, he's running away from her. And kind of just vanishing into this cave, kind of leading Rey to a location full of Jedi and Sith relics. Now, this also falls directly in line with the scene that Daisy Redley shot over in Jordan, Wadi Rum, once again, uh, where she was actually using a blue lightsaber blade, a single-bladed lightsaber that was colored blue. Now, could it be that this is where she finds her own lightsaber on the planet Jakku itself, or whatever desert world this is, right? It could really be any planet. Um, but I think it's pretty safe to say that this most likely is going to be Jakku if they're really going to keep in tune with George Lucas's outlook on Star Wars, how it's like poetry, it rhymes, uh, you know, mirroring the original trilogy, how, you know, Tatooine was in the first, Tatooine was in the third. Same thing goes as follows with this. Jack who's in the first movie, Jack who's in the last movie. So I could totally see that. Um, as far as the figure holding a very similar staff to Rey, I think I would like to say and go as far to say that that's probably the same exact staff. Now, this is obviously a vision. I don't think that this is a force ghost or anything like that. I think that this is just a vision within Rey's mind or her head that's leading her, you know, calling her to some place uh, where this is actually going to give her her new lightsaber that will make her defend herself and will also bring her onto the path of becoming a Jedi. Now, with that being said, all right, Rey's father, we've been hearing about him very lightly before these past couple of months or so, and, you know, if you look at Kylo Ren, sure, he told Rey, you know, they're nobody, they sold you off for drinking money, and Rey even agrees, you know, she does say that they were nobody, but that's not to say that he wasn't lying, there's always a chance that he could be lying, I mean, after all, he lied to General Hux that Rey killed Supreme Leader Snoke. You know, I think that that would be an interesting piece for Star Wars Episode Nine for sure, is if, let's say, for example, Kylo Ren is trying to keep that a secret 
where he's trying to like not let anybody know that he was the one who killed Snoke. Maybe somebody finds out and that's how people start turning on him. That could be a very interesting angle for Star Wars 9. Uh, but looking at this specifically though guys, uh, you know how Rey is walking away from the campsite at night where Finn, Poe, and everybody else are located most likely. She's kind of like just getting some air it seems and that's when she sees this vision of her father and she starts chasing him. She starts, you know, going toward him and he starts running, leading her to a spot that will actually bring her on a certain path, a great path of a character for her own. And, you know, guys, I gotta say, I mean, when it comes to J.J., it seems like when you look at The Force Awakens, you can really see all these things that he was trying to create for Rey that wasn't necessarily expanded in The Last Jedi at all. So, well, he's gonna be doing that in Episode 9, and he's gonna be giving her this important lineage, and I'm just very curious and fascinated about what he's going to do in this film. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.